so good. Do you think you're going to be okay to go to lab tonight? I don't think so. I'm out of like Vicks nasal spray and vapo rub. That's okay. I've got bleach and isoporneal. What, what are you going to do with that? I'm going to make some camphor. It's one of the leading ingredients in Vicks vapo rub for decongestion. All I have to do is oxidize some isoborneol with bleach in the presence of acetic acid. <coughs> How are you going to do that? Me and Glenda are going to go meet up, and then we'll get you better in no time. Okay, thanks. So in this experiment, we will be converting our initial reactant, isoborneal, to the product camphor via oxidation. Okay, so in this experiment, we'll be using bleach, which contains sodium hypochlorite, and in the presence of acetic acid, hypochlorous acid will be formed, which is our oxidizing agent for the following mechanism. So for simplicity, R represents carbons of the ring structure of isoborneal in the reactants and camphor in the products. Within this mechanism, the oxygen of isoborneal acts as a nucleophile and pursues chloride bonded to oxygen. The bond between oxygen and chloride breaks heterolytically, creating H2O. Then H2O deprotonates oxygen bonded to chloride on the ring structure. H2O then deprotonates carbon of the ring structure adjacent to oxygen. The chloride-oxygen bond breaks heterolytically, and electrons from the hydrogen elimination form the carbonyl group on camphor. Hey Victoria, Cindy and I just finished making this camphor for you. It should make you feel better. Awesome, you guys are the best. I feel great. I can go to lab. I can be somebody. <laughs>